question. Yeah. I, uh, basically, I have a friend um, who like he works in my company, like, but he is in some kind of uh, ill haram relationship, and I am and I want to advise him, but I do not know how to advise him, and I and also he is not regular in prayers. I I call him to prayers, but he can sometimes come with us with for a prayer. Sometimes he misses the prayer, so I fear that if I advise him at the moment, he will be he will stop coming to prayers for with us as well. So that's why I'm very confused. Should I advise him? What should I advise him regarding his relationship? That's a that's a question. Well. And Nabi yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered uh, your question where he said, if any of you happen to see evil, then you should change it. And everyone should change it according to their capacity. So if you know that the relationship between, and between you and this person would allow you to speak to him in private, obviously, and tell him about what is right and what is wrong, you cannot imagine how much change it may uh, do to him, how much change it may take place to him because of your advices. You know, many people belittle the power of da'wah or the nasiha and they think uh, he may quote come into the prayer if, he, if I know that he's in a relationship and he may take heed. What Allah the Almighty said about the people of Sabat on, in Surah Al-A'raf, he said the righteous people when they were blamed for, you know, advising the perpetrators, they say, قَالُوا مَعْذِرَةً إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ So you got to do this because Allah said you got to do it. So it's like, you know, you're telling Allah, Oh Allah, I've done my job and I've done it properly. عَلَىٰ بَصِيرَةً وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ means you never know. Maybe they will take heed. Maybe they will benefit out of your nasiha. Same applies to your question here, أخي. As a matter of fact, it's so amazing that whenever we're flying and you just start up a conversation with the passenger next to you, in the seat next to you, whether he or she, I once started a conversation with a person who was drinking too much alcohol. Just, I thought, let me just, you know, slow him down from drinking. Another incident with a, a, a woman and the outcome may be ironic. Can you imagine seeing people accepting Islam or believing in Allah or realizing Tawheed in, in a flight? Yeah, because you've made an effort. Guidance is definitely from Allah. So before you speak to somebody, you ask Allah, Oh Allah, make him understand me correctly. Sincere my intention in giving him the nasiha. And do not hesitate, proceed on, Bismillah, and put your trust in Allah, Akhi.